Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. An input is any element that you want to include into your vMix production. Now in this video we're looking at DVDs. In vMix your inputs are added through the add input section which is in the bottom left. Firstly we'll need to click on it to add an input. As we're looking at DVDs, select DVD from the menu. It's just below video. Now you'll notice up the top, it says select the DVD or DVD folder that you wish to play. So we're going to browse for our DVD folder. Now I've created a DVD in this folder here. I'm gonna select folder. Now if we had it in a DVD drive, it's just a matter of selecting that drive and then clicking the open folder section. Now in Windows 8.1 and above, the necessary codecs to play MPEG-2 videos, which include DVDs, aren't installed by default anymore. So to fix this, you may need to purchase the Windows DVD player through the Windows Store. There's going to be a link in the description below. You may also need to install the AC3 decoder if you don't hear any audio, and the link for that is also in the description. To use the DVD input, you'll just need to click OK down the bottom once you've selected the folder or the DVD drive. Now you notice that the DVD has been brought into our vMix production in the input section. Now if we want to edit the settings for the input, it's just a matter of clicking the little cog icon and we can go through and we can start setting up our input. Here you can make changes to the name of the DVD input, category, the mouse click, all those kind of things that you can already set up the same way that you do for say for a video or any other input. Now the DVD input will work the same as a video file for this uh, behaviors section here. So just like a video, you can automatically mix audio, play with transition, restart with transition and pause with transition. Now you'll need to select these based on your preferences of, of how you're going to use them in your production. Now there are other menus on the left hand side that you can use to edit the DVD video, such as you know the color adjust, um, to make it black and white or change coloring, change the alpha and that sort of thing, as well as color key, position, multi-view and that sort of thing that are covered in other videos. If you'd like to check those out, you can check out our other tutorials for those. Okay, so once you're happy with all of your DVD settings, just a matter of clicking the X button up the top right. Okay, now that we've added the DVD as an input into our production, we can start using it. So you can bring it into your production just like any other input. You can click on it and that will bring it into preview and then we can transition it across like we normally would for any other input. Now DVDs have some extra features for control in your production. So you can bring up a DVD menu by right clicking the input in the input section, in the preview section or in the output section. So you just need to right click and it will bring up the DVD menu. If it was in here, we bring that up. We can use that there as well. You can then control your DVD and use the menus by just using your mouse and clicking. We right click and then we can utilize this menu here. This right click menu allows you to use different functions of the DVD, just like you would use a remote control. So you can go to different menus, chapters, or use the menu for mouse actions like up and down on a menu. So for example, we can click that and it will go up. This gives you full control over your DVD directly from vMix. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you how to use the DVD in vMix. So you can go to the input, the preview or the output and select any of the menu items um, and click them to play. We have new shirts, as you may so as you can see, that's started to play our DVD forwards, item. If I right click, I can then um, utilize this menu here. So I can go to the root menu, the title menu, go to the chapter menu, anything that your DVD has set up in the menu, you can utilize here in vMix. So I can choose to jump to a particular chapter or something, or I can go to next chapter. You notice at the bottom, it's, it's skipping to the next chapter that we've set up. And then I can also bring it back to the, the menu like so. Okay, so each DVD menu is probably going to be different. So you might have different functions that you can use within your DVD menu. Any of the links that we mentioned before will be in the description below if you want to check those out. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.